For today's look on this challenge, I decided I wanted to do the Terminator. If you've not seen any of the minimalist makeup challenge videos, the idea is simple. I need to create as many looks as possible with the same 15 products or less. So far I'm only using 13 products because I want to be able to pick out two at a later date, but this Halloween I wanted to show just how many different looks you can create with just a very simple selection of products. So I've got the tin foil and I'm going to cut out a little piece and rip the edges to make it look serrated and rough. And to stick it down I'm going to be using some lash glue. I prefer using the black eyelash glue, though I wouldn't necessarily use it for a look like this. If I had a little bit of extra cash I would use something like latex. It's much cheaper but I wanted to be true to the challenge and just use the products I've selected. So I'm going to stick it down and I'm going to use the warmth of my hand over the foil just to hold it in place. This will make it dry a lot faster. And then I'm going to add a small spot on my nose and my forehead. After this I'm going to outline a tin foil. If you want to be very detailed with this what you could do is take the back of a spoon and then use that to smooth out the edges so that there's more of a soft transition from the edge of the foil onto your skin but don't worry about it it's Halloween the whole point of this look is I wanted to do something which was affordable but also reasonably quick. Once I've outlined everything I'm going to wait for it to dry this shouldn't take any longer than five minutes the lash glue does dry very very quickly. And once that's done, I'm going to go over it with a powder. As you can see, that lash glue, when it dries, is very, very dark. And while I do want that, I don't want it this dark because it's going to compete with the eyeshadow. So I'm going to go over it with a powder and then take a black eyeshadow and just go around those edges and try and make more skid marks around the edge. Now that I've done some rough markings around the tin foil, what I want to do is take that black eyeshadow and make it even darker. When I do this, I'll normally only do it on one side of the pan so that I don't end up doing this over the whole eyeshadow because sometimes I want to use the black eyeshadow which is a little bit more ashy and muted and then I can have the other side which has been made super dark with the water and then that way I have the option of both. So now I'm going to go over around the edges and start making it a little more dusty and messy. If I want to go over those skid marks later on I can do that but before I do that I'm going to be adding some pink skid marks and the easiest ways to do this is to use a spoolie. Now of course you can use a brush like I showed you before but I wanted to show you both techniques. So if something very detailed with the paintbrush isn't something you think you can do confidently then just take a spoolie and roll it in the direction that you want to and then afterwards you can go over it either with a lip brush or with a small paintbrush and try and get a similar effect to just neaten up the edges. Well not neaten them up, make them look worse basically. <laughs> Finally, to cover up that spot that I've got close to my chin, I'm just going to add more redness along the jawline because I want to cheat and just make everything blend together. So that's what I'm going to do with the lipstick. I'm going to blend it out with my finger and then that's it. You're done. If you want to go really all out, you could use some red lenses, but I'm going to cheat and I'm going to use just a leather jacket and some sunglasses because I don't want to get the lenses. And ultimately, this is all you need for a Terminator look. And as usual, if you like my videos and want to see more content, feel free to follow me on the mailing list. Do not subscribe to me on YouTube. That way you get everything sent directly to your email and I'll have a new video for you soon.